next we'll uh, route the tube that goes to the swing arm and we'll start from the swing arm end. I just find that easier but obviously you can do whatever is most convenient. And uh, again be very sure that you route this um, so that it doesn't have contact with any moving parts, particularly the chain or um, the main drive sprocket, things like that. So I'm just going to tuck that in behind the fairing here. I'm going to come up. Oh. And then it will just take the same route that we've taken for the other one. And just like with the first, make sure that um, this tube will not be pulled or under stress when, uh, when you're operating your handlebars or your bike. And again, that just connects nicely to the port and I'll make sure to have roughly the same length of tubing here. Um, just for that to all look neat and tidy. Kind of like that. Very good. Now, on this end here, well, uh, tuck that in so it's behind the fairing. And later I'm going to go around with uh, the zip ties that I included and I'll uh, tighten it so that it won't uh, fly around needlessly or uh, get in contact with any moving parts. Now, to run this along the swing arm, you see, um, we're just going to zip tie that in place later. But now that we have a rough idea where this is going to come in, we're going to cut the tube to length and make sure to leave yourself plenty to work with, right? It's easier to cut things off than to add things. So I'm going to cut mine about, what about here? That's plenty. Right, so I'll have plenty there. Cutter. Cut that off. Okay. Now we need to find a way to make this go towards the the sprocket. And this is where the wire comes in. So we'll take the wire. Unroll it. Make sure there are no kinks in the wire. Like that. Straighten it out a bit. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Alright. And then, on one end, we're going to form a kink. I'm going to use those pliers, but you can also use um, a screwdriver, for example, anything really. Right, kind of like this. And what this is going to do is it's going to hold the wire in the tube. Right. So next up, I'm just going to push the wire down in the tube and you see because of that it's harder to pull out and once it's uh, in there thoroughly because of all the kinks that you can't straighten out it's going to hold very well. So I'm going to insert as much as I can of this right. you probably don't have to insert the full 40 centimeters of wire um, but the more you do, the less likely it is to come undone. Again, I'm going to use the pliers to push it further. That's good. We're going to cut this in the end, so I'm not bothered with this right now. So. Next up, 
is to roughly position the tube and then I'm going to use a zip tie to run that around the swing arm. In case your zip tie isn't long enough, as it is here, you can use two zip ties. So, or a longer one if you have, of course. I'm just going to put that together like, like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. You can also put it in first, leave it loose, and then just feed the tube through. Now, in the end, you'll want the tube to come in sort of around here on the sprocket. Around here on the sprocket. And so I'm going to, again, give myself plenty to work with. Take that zip tie. And just cinch it down into place right around here. Okay. Of course you can use the pliers again. Okay. It's good for now. And now I can Take the tube that was stiffened by the wire and just form it in the direction where I want it. And then again, rather cut too little than too much. Cut that off. and twist that in that direction. Okay. There we are. So in the end, this is how it looks like on this bike. 